everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I hope you guys are enjoying seeing me a lot. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, I'm Ashley. I am doing a series for the 12 days leading up to Christmas. I'm doing my top five series. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I thought now would be a perfect time to do it. So today's video is actually my top five single eyeshadows. So yesterday you guys saw me do my top five eyeshadow palettes and today is my top five single shadows. So I will leave a list of all the videos in this series so far and I'll add some cards so you can just click on them and it will open in a new window. But you guys let me know what your favorite single eyeshadow is. And I almost like skipped this kind of top five but I really wanted to tell you guys because some of these I feel like are must have eyeshadows. So let's go ahead and get started. I am wearing a lot of them on my face today. This lipstick, can we talk about it? I've been so bad about writing down what makeup I'm wearing in this um, this series. Usually I always list everything I'm wearing in the description box, but I keep forgetting to write it down. But I did want to mention this lipstick. This is Chanel's Captain Vante, number 119. I haven't worn this in so long and I remember how much I love it. It's amazing. Okay, let's talk about the eyeshadows. Let's start out with kind of a basic shadow that I wear. I want to say 75% of the time I wear makeup, I will put Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear in the crease. This is one of my favorite single shadows. I do have it in the crease today. I love this one. If you like warm eyeshadow looks, you need Cocoa Bear. It's just that go-to shade. It also looks amazing smudged or like on your lower lash line kind of blended out. It's amazing. And then this one, which is Makeup Geek's Cherry Cola, that's kind of my new love. That's not in my top five yet because it is a new eyeshadow, but I love it. I wore, I put that on today too. You just can't go wrong with Cocoa Bear or Cherry Cola. I love it. Okay, and then um, another one, I'm obsessed with this. I have actually hit pan, which on these ColourPop eyeshadows, it's not hard to hit pan on. It's hard to open them sometimes. But this is ColourPop's single eyeshadow in So Quiche. This is the most dimensional odd eyeshadow that I have, but when light hits it, it is absolutely amazing. I don't even really know how to explain the color of this shadow. It's like green and purple and taupe and just, I don't know, it's just an amazing eyeshadow. It's $5 too. So the only thing I will say about the ColourPop shadows is it's best to apply them with your finger instead of like a brush, but they are really incredible and so quiche is definitely a must have. And then staying kind of on the lines of that eyeshadow that's multi-dimensional. The one I have on my lids today is Urban Decay's Solstice. You guys heard me rave about this so much this year. It is the most unique, it's one of the most unique shadows that I own for sure. It's pink and purple and green and like orange and I don't know. It's this one on the bottom. It's so metallic, absolutely stunning all over the lid. Like I said, that's what I have on. I actually have it smudged on my lower lash line as well today and it's just incredible. And what I put on first before I put on Solstice was one of my top five, but it was limited edition. It is Chanel's New Moon. They have since re-released this. So this is probably one of those shadows that will continue to be re-released. So if you ever see it, pick it up. It's an amazing shadow. The Illusion de Ombre eyeshadows from Chanel are just stunning. And that one is definitely my favorite. I have a couple of them, but New Moon is a must have in my opinion. So you can tell I like these like metallic, gorgeous, multi-dimensional shades. Oh, they make me happy. And then the very last shadow I want to talk about is a Burberry eyeshadow. And I have a couple of these, 
But this one in Pale Barley is one of those eyeshadows that I feel like should be a staple in everyone's collection because it's just like a great, quick, simple, easy eye look. I'm running out of room to swatch here. Um, it's one that you can place on your lid with a flat brush and then take a blending brush and kind of blend it up into your crease and it's a one shadow eyeshadow look. Again, I love those for days that I'm really in a hurry or I don't want to fuss with a bunch of different eyeshadows, Pell Barley is a go-to for me for sure. So that is it. As always, as I've been saying in this series, let me know what your favorite single shadow is below and I will see you guys tomorrow.